Hey all you gorgeous YouTubers, this is a video on the MP3 player, one of which I featured in my top 10 things to have for your car. Now this thing I got from AliExpress uh, a few months ago and it's for anyone who has a car that has an auxiliary input but you don't have a USB input. Unfortunately my Jaguar is one of those that wasn't fitted with the option and I really wish it was but this thing is probably the best compromise um, in terms of, of playing your music through an SD card into your car's sound system. Now the sound quality is very good and, and this is what happens when you turn it on. So this is what it looks like over here and you can see I've actually placed it on my car's center console and when I have the, the armrest down this is really what it looks like and while I, the reason I put it here is so that while I'm driving I can actually skip a song. Now it has these red lights and they, they flash on and off all the time and you can't actually change that. Maybe you can, I don't know, but I don't understand Chinese and the manual's in Chinese. Um, so I don't really know if you can change that and but I'm, I don't really care about that all I care about is being able to forward a song or back up a song and if you forward a song it shows you you're now on song 50 so I've got this thing plugged in via the cable they supplied to my auxiliary input in here and this is the power socket that came with the unit and it has two USB inputs. One is for music. You can stick a dongle in here, a USB dongle with music on it, and you can charge your phone at the same time. And I've actually just tied the cable up um, because there's a, you know excessive cable here in case you want to actually mount it somewhere over here. Now, in addition to that, they also supply you a magnet. So this thing actually fits onto the car with a magnet. So I can actually, and it's very light, it's very plasticky and light. I can take it out of the car anytime I take the car in for service and the base sticks onto the car. So this, this piece remains behind. And when you come back, you just prop it on there and it's quite a strong magnet. It doesn't come off and it doesn't fall around when you drive, that I can definitely assure you because that would irritate me and um, I think for me it's probably the best solution in terms of having all my music in one place. Now I'm just going to disconnect this little thing quickly and show you guys what it looks like on this side. So that's where you plug in your auxiliary output. It's actually an input and an output and on the side here that's where you put your mini SD card in with all your music. This thing can take up to a 32 gigabyte SD card with music on it. So I think 32 gigs is more than enough for music. Um, it's not a video player, it's an audio player. So 32 gigabytes with the music, that's quite a bit of music. And um, you hear an audible sound a lady tells you that it's turning on and that the bluetooth is turning on it's ready to pair um, in addition to that my dash cam also makes noise so i'm going to turn the car off and uh, let you guys this is the sound So the sound is pretty good, um, it's just like if you were playing a CD through the CD shuttle. Um, the car is a five disc CD shuttle but I don't use CDs, I don't use discs, I haven't done so for the last five years of my life and I don't think anybody really uses CDs anymore anyway. 
this thing's great because while I'm driving it's pretty intuitive I can just press that button to skip a song and I can press this button to go back to a, a previous song when you turn the unit off it actually shows you your battery voltage so it tells me my alternator is working pretty good it's charging at 14.9 almost 15 volts and um, that's pretty good because with the car off the battery should be at 12.4 volts so when you turn it on this is what you're going to hear every time you start your car power on the bluetooth device is ready to power music and then the music starts now i'm going to turn my car off And I'm going to turn the car on again and you'll see it'll turn on power on the Bluetooth device is ready to power and that's what you hear every time you start your car and it automatically plays and there it's playing now when I turn the car off it turns off immediately because it's plugged into your lighter socket over here if you have a car that has a lighter socket that doesn't turn off when the car is off well then you have to remember to pull the lighter socket out you've got to pull it out of the socket there every time you get out of your car and that's kind of a pain but um, this is really good for cars that have a lighter socket that is not powered when the car is off and um, it really really works great it wasn't very expensive I'm going to put a link in the um, description below if you're interested in buying one of these and I can highly recommend it